Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we check out the brand new Will Putney guitar amp sim from STL Tones. So there I was, I was minding my own business when out of the blue, I get a message from the forever homie, Will Putney. He was like, hey, I, uh, I'm kind of working on a thing. Can't really tell you much about it, but if you want to check out the thing, I could maybe tell you more. And I was like, <laughs> tell me more. And enter the Will Putney Signature STL Tones guitar amp sim. Now this is exciting for a few different reasons. A, I'm a huge fan of Will's guitar tones and you likely are as well. From Fit for an Autopsy to Thy Artist Murder to End to Every Time I Die, the list goes on and on. Now, the second reason why I'm excited for this specific plugin is because I really think it's an all encompassing metal guitar tone plugin. And I don't wanna use that, that term lightly. Honestly, I think this is one of the best heavy guitar plugins ever made. And here's why. So for the song you just heard, I have my DAW session open and I have two instances of the STL tonality Will Putney plugin going. And I have one up on the screen and my particular patch that I'm using is one I created and it is using the Ubershaw model mixed with the 5150. And I'm using a couple of different impulses from uh, ML Sound Labs of a uh, rectifier 412 cabinet. Now here's what the guitars sound like isolated. Okay. I think those sound absolutely stunning. I, I that's exactly what I was going for. I kind of want a mid range heavy, kind of a thing. I was using my Bernie Les Paul custom with the Duncan JB in the bridge. So it's a very rock and roll pickup. But when I add the bass in, it just it just brings it to another level. So I'm going to click on my bass track here. And this is my bass patch. It is basically the stock vintage overdrive uh, bass tone that was in the, the plugin itself. Honestly, I didn't do anything to this. I just went with it as is. And what you were hearing is the DI blended with the bass amp itself. So that is with a total of three instances of the Will Putney plugin. We have a left guitar, a right guitar, and an instance of the bass guitar in the middle. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click back over to my guitar tone, and I'm going to show you uh, basically what's going on in my patch and how to kind of navigate the plugin itself. So first, I have the banks on the left hand side. Now each bank has a series of presets. So I have the guitar tones, I have bass tones, and these are just kind of general tones that were dialed in by Will. And then I have album guitar tones and album bass tones. Now this is pretty significant because I can click on the album guitar tones, for example, and I can have a drop down menu of the presets and along with the plugin, you get a whole bunch of IRs and you can literally, with one click of your mouse, dial up a specific guitar tone from an album that Will has worked on. <laughs> this is really cool. So for example, the low teens tone with uh, Every Time I Die, uh, I'm gonna dial up here in a second and let's see how that sounds. Uh, and mind you, they didn't use 
my guitar, so it's going to sound slightly different, but it's still really, really close, and that has me really excited. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And there are just tons and tons of guitar tone presets that use their own individual IR to replicate uh, famous guitar tones heard on a lot of Will's albums. Uh, most notably Hellbound, Fit for an Autopsy. Um, I mean, I could literally spend all day just going over these tones. However, I'm going to move on and we're gonna get to the amp section. Now, the amps included are five amps, uh, four guitar amps, one bass amp. So right now in the top left-hand corner, you will notice uh, a normal mode and a mixer mode. Now, right now, this is normal mode, right? So if I press normal mode, it won't do anything because I'm already in normal mode. And I can simply come down to the bottom and select which amp I want to bring up in the plugin. Amp one, amp two, amp three, and amp four for guitars. And then the fifth one is the Ampeg bass amp. Now, this is the same thing with the cabinets. Over here on the right-hand side, you will notice that you are selecting what you want to view. So right now, I am obviously viewing the amplifiers, but if I wanna view the cabinets, I will click on this cab tab. And now I can come over to either the buttons for the cabinets, cabs one, two, three, four, five, and an IR loader, or I can simply just click on the cabinets themselves. Very intuitive, very clean interface. And thusly, the same thing goes for the pedals. There is a distortion pedal, which is basically an overdrive. Um, there is uh, a delay, and there is also a reverb. Now, most interestingly enough, there is a pre and post switch for the uh, reverb and delay. And this means you can put them in, uh, in front of the amplifier or in the effects loop of the amplifier, just depending on what kind of vibe you are going for. If I wanna dive in a little deeper, I'm gonna go over here to the top left and I'm gonna click mixer mode. Now this is gonna to totally change the bottom navigational portion into something a little bit more detailed, right? So I'm gonna simply click on the portions that I want to dial in. So right now I have two amps going. So I'm gonna click on the top amp, and that brings up the Triple Crown, a Mesa Boogie Triple Crown. On the bottom, it brings up a Bogner Ubershaw. Now, the flow of this signal is from left to right. So, I have my stop boxes, I have my amp selects, I have my cabinet selection, and I have my blend. Now, this blend knob right here, so, for example, I'm gonna bring up, um, I'm gonna bring up my patch that I just used, Fluff Dad Chun's because it's a dad tone. And notice I have the blend kind of more towards the Ubershaw, more so than the 5150. And this is because I want to kind of blend them in a way that the, the top end, kind of some of the nasty top end will cancel out each other. Um, and here's what that sounds like blending and going from one to the other. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love the ability to blend both amps seamlessly and they both remain in phase and it just is another level of detail that you can use to dial in the tone that you are looking for. Really brilliantly done. Now, another couple of details that I really like about the Will Putney uh, STL Tones plugin is, for one, the gate is very, very fast and it's very transparent. It really stays out of your way while gating all, uh, all of or any of noise that may be present in the track. Also, I will note, the tuner is literally the fastest tuner I have ever seen. I'm gonna play, replay this track. Now watch the tuner and watch how fast it's catching notes. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? 
I've never seen it. I was like, why is this so fast? Lastly, the EQ section is modeled after Will's favorite outboard EQ. It visually looks like a focus right to me. It's a very clean EQ, and you can use this to really fine tune your tone and have a low shelf, high shelf, low pass, high pass, whatever you're feeling, you can get within the parametric EQ section, which is last in the signal chain. So really think of the STL Tones Will Putney plugin as an entire signal chain. It is not just a single amp with an overdrive pedal in front. It is really an all encompassing environment in which to dial in your guitar tone. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.